After a man has come to see that he is overly focused on his mother and her needs, he could wonder what is going on. Also, what could soon stand out is that he has been this way for as long as he can remember. He will see that he has his own life to live and needs to meet, but he will have acted and continue to act as though this isn't the case. At this point, he might have had enough of behaving in this way and watching his life pass him by. But while he will want to spend less time being there for his mother and more time being there for himself, it doesn't mean that he will just be able to change his behaviour. For example, his mother could ask him to do something and he could say that he is unable to as he is busy. He could end up feeling relieved, but before long, he could end up feeling very low and as though he has done something that is wrong. This may also be a time when he experiences a fair amount of anxiety. As a result of this, he might soon reach out to his mother and let her know that he will be able to do what she wants. After this has taken place, he could find that he starts to feel better and more at ease. What will be clear from this is that in order for him to feel good about himself and not be on edge, he needs to please his mother. If he doesn't, his inner world will be all at sea and he will find it hard to experience positive feelings and to feel at peace. After he has agreed to do something for her though, he could feel frustrated and mildly angry. Yet, as he will have gone against himself, it is to be expected that there will be a part of him that is not happy. Yet, as pleasing his mother is what feels right, as opposed to pleasing himself, it shows that something is not right. He should be able to put himself first, without feeling as though he is a bad person, or that something bad will happen to him. If anything, how he feels when he puts himself first, should be how he feels when he puts his mother first. Ultimately, he has his own life to lead, he is not here to be his mother's servant. However, even though he does feel this way when he puts himself first, it doesn't mean that he is actually doing anything wrong. Most likely, it simply shows that he was brought up to be there for his mother during his early years. Throughout this stage of his life, his mother, who was likely to be developmentally stunted, deeply wounded, and unconscious, would have probably seen him as nothing more than an extension of herself. Therefore, she wouldn't have truly been able to accept that he was an individual that had his own needs, feelings, and life to lead. If he did express himself, he might have soon been punished, disapproved of, and rejected and or abandoned. Either way, he would have soon come to associate expressing himself as something that was bad and a threat to his very survival. Along with this, if his father was around, he might have also made sure that his son was there for his mother. This would have meant that both of his parents conditioned him to be there for his mother, and for this to be seen by him as the right thing to do. His father may have also been focused on pleasing his mother, his partner, and being a non-entity. Thus his father would have sent him the message, both directly and indirectly, that he was responsible for his mother. What he needed at this stage of his life was a mother and father who could see him and provide him with the love that he needed to grow and develop in the right way. Instead, he was probably brought up by at least one parent who was still a child and unconsciously made him into the parent that they wanted but never had. How he was treated was then not personal, it was simply a reflection of how underdeveloped one or both of his parents were. So how he feels when he attempts to live his own life is how his mother and perhaps his father should have felt 
when they were using him. When this was taking place though, his mother and father, if he was there, were probably completely oblivious to how destructive their behaviour was. This was then why they were able to cause so much harm. Taking this into account, he is not responsible for his mother, and the sense of badness, guilt and shame that he experiences when he does what is right for him is not a sign that he is doing anything wrong. It is just a sign that he is going against the conditioning that he received. For him to understand this at an emotional level, he will probably have a number of emotional wounds to work through. So with this in mind, if you are a man in this position and when you try to live your own life, you end up feeling guilty and bad and as though you have done something wrong and even ashamed, it doesn't mean that this is the case. As I've said, it most likely shows that you are going against the conditioning that you received very early on and this would then have been a time when you were used by one or both of your parents to meet their needs. So your needs would then have been overlooked and your true self would have gone into hiding and you would have been forced to create a disconnected false self that would allow you to please one or both of your parents. And so when you express your true self, now that you are an adult, naturally you will feel as though you are doing something wrong. But it's just because you are going against your early conditioning. So if you can relate to this, you may need to reach out for external support so that you can begin to work through your emotional wounds and to gradually phase out your false self. Because you are here to express your true self. You are here to live a fulfilling life. So don't suffer in silence and do what you need to do to gradually change your life. If you would like to find out more about the services that I offer, please go to www.oliverjrcooper.co.uk or email me at info at oliverjrcooper.co.uk and I am looking forward to assisting you on your journey.